talk to me. Let me know what's up. Essential. Welcome to another episode of I Can't Make This Up, the show about bringing people together from different backgrounds to share true stories that have happened in their life. I'm your host, AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. You can find me at www.ajdunk.com. Guest, my special guest today, would you please introduce yourself? What's going on, everyone? My name is Robert Gill, and a uh, friend of AJ for a long time. This guest right here has been around since I was just doing, before the live show, before the Instagram show of I Can't Make This Up. He was around since I was meeting up three years ago, meeting up with people in just my Zoom recorder in a room, getting interviews. And he was like, AJ, when are you going to get me on the show? When you asked me, I was like, oh, man, this is great. I have nothing to say. (laughs) Before Rob tells his story, let everybody know. There's a button down there that looks just like this. I want you to press that button while he's telling his story. If you think of a question that you're like, hmm, hmm. So why didn't you just cross the street? If you saw that the alien was over there getting a the blowjob, whatever it may be, I don't know. Look at you, you even commenting. <laughs> so, Rob, yo, I yo. Ask you, will you please share this story that you cannot make up? Okay, so some of the viewers watching probably already know it because they probably were, were there with me. Um, okay, so, so we're gonna be able to confirm yeah. it, yeah, yeah. Every year, I set up uh, a team. I play for an ultimate frisbee team. And uh, every year, there's a big beach tournament in Wildwood. It's the biggest tournament in the world. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, people go out there, you know, people drinking, smoking, and, I mean, all ages. Of course, not like younger wise, but like 20 and up. I mean, you could be a 70 year old out there playing frisbee on the beach. You got to get hotels. And so I get two rooms every year. My one friend hits me up, he's like, listen, Rob, let's, let's put another team out. And let's, let's get another room and let's send two teams. I'm kind of like, oh, man, that's a lot of work, man. Like, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> so I just, didn't I, take much. I just have a lot of money to get it. Yeah, it's a lot of money. So I look at my wife and I'm like, you know, I might have to take some savings, you know, just to pay for another room. And she doesn't be like, how much money are we talking? I'm like, mm, it's going to be three numbers. It's not going to be four, but it might be three. It turns to be four. And she's like, as long as you pay it back, we're good. I'm like, you know what? I'll pay it back. I, I pray to God somebody pays me back. I hope that this works out good. Because I don't know these, I don't know these people. I already have my team already set up to go out to compete. I get this one room, and they called it the party room. I didn't know that that room was going to be in the exact center of the whole party. Like the DJ outside, cops outside, uh, freaking bouncer outside, hundreds of freaking people outside my room. I have people come from Baltimore, New York, and, you know, one guy was trying to come from Ireland, and, you know, he couldn't make it. So I have people coming from all around the world, basically, to, to compete in a tournament. In the room, it's about, like, 25 people in and out. My wife was, like, she comes out, and she's mad as hell. Fuck, what happened? She goes, there's somebody smoke or snorting cocaine on my phone. I'm like... <laughs> No. I, I, I paused. She goes, I'm going to fuck her up. Like, like I kind of freaked out, right? Because you got to remember. So, I mean, I didn't want anything going down. I and mean, it was going to be pretty bad. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to kick the door down. I'll kick everyone the fuck out. Right? I'm, I'm really hyped up. I'm like, yo, I'm going in. Let's fucking go. I'm walking in there on bat. My friends look at me like, yo, everything all right? I'm like, man, I go in there. As soon as I walk in the door... I just like, you know, fuck this. I'm, I'm pussing it out. Uh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. I'm scared of shit. <laughs> so, 
I can literally see it. It's like a pound of fucking cocaine on their phone. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Can you help me out here? Like, I'm kind of like, I need your help, man. This is your friend. You know, she has, you know, she has drugs in the room. <laughs> get that bitch out. <laughs> Don't get that bitch in out. <laughs> I got your back. I'm going to be behind you while you kick her ass out. And I'm just short, so I'm like, fuck yeah. And I'm there like, like, if he's here, I'm like this. I'm like, yeah, you, you, tell, you, you, you tell her to get her shit out. The idea of the cops throwing the fuck in, like, if they get into a fight, right? So in my mind, when she tell me this, if they get into a fight, I've never seen my wife get into a fight before. I'm pretty excited. I'm like, I'm ready to see bras, shirts, titties. I'm, I'm ecstatic about this right now. Like, yo, this is going to be a girl fight in the room. Fuck yeah, let's, let's fucking go. But then when I'm thinking about, like, then there's white powder in the air. How would I explain that in my room? <laughs> How would I explain that story? <laughs> Everything turned out good, but that moment where I was like, shit could have went sour real quick. More stories, I got, yeah. It's like, know who the hell goes in and out of the room if it's under your name. <laughs> if you would have said something, she would have flexed on you. She'd be like, <laughs> Yo, yeah, because I was just like, yeah, it could have been anything. I'd be walking out a black eye. Like, yeah, I kicked that bitch out. She kicked me out. <laughs> this is my room now. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, the girls on the team that was doing it was like the best player on my team. It's like, this is probably why you look good at freaking Frisbee. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I am Lee Chen said, who the hell knows they're good at Frisbee? If you play cards with people and they throw cards and you could catch a card, then you're fucking good. I have friends that can throw 100 yards with a Frisbee. Like, going to a football field, they'll toss a Frisbee, like, 100 yards. I can only toss it 50 yards. And they're tossing it almost, like, 100 yards. Yeah. I have videos of my friends. They're probably watching this now. Probably laughing their ass off. When he throws it 100 yards, how long does it take? I'm leeching said six hours. <laughs> so that shit. You... <laughs> People were coming from Ireland to play Frisbee? Only, yeah. So only my one friend's come from Ireland. He's going to throw a Frisbee from there, and then when he landed, he's going to catch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what does the winner get? <laughs> so, oh. actually, so it's for fun. So you do get a trophy. <laughs> it's pretty sad. So and you do get a trophy. Was it an iPhone or an Android? <laughs> <laughs> the iPhone uh, 10. Ooh, makes me so good for it. Let's see. Let's see. Considering <laughs> I'm not good, let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, the running part, actually. Surprisingly, the running part. That's actually a good question. It'd be a lot of fun. Uh, it's more of the community. Uh, the fact that you don't have to tackle and get hurt. Frisbee is such a, um, a spirit sport. It reminded me of, like, handball, but using a plate. I'm going to get my uh, video together. It's going to be me defending me, catching frisbees <laughs> over me. <laughs> Look, my skills. I'm telling you, boy. I'm telling you. Hold on. Let me try this one. Oh, this like <laughs> Oh, you see that? You see that? Yo. <laughs> Natural. Yeah, I went to Jamaica for my wedding, and what did I bring? I definitely had two frisbees. Wait, wait. Well, why why do you need more than two? They they gonna break? Actually, <laughs> they break really good. <laughs> you know what, AJ? Thank you for having me. Um, we've been friends a long time. Um, I'm so you know grateful to have you as a friend. Uh, and all your followers and stuff, please keep following. Um, AJ's a good guy. He's funny as hell. And if you meet him in person, man, make sure you get an autograph. I, I don't have one yet. I've been bugging him for a while. Can I get an autograph? It's not, on my Frisbee, though. On my Frisbee. I want an autograph on my Frisbee. <laughs> what we learned today is that you can take anything. And if you have a big enough following, you could turn it into something. <laughs> Once again, my name is AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. You can find me at www.ajdunk.com. From there, you have my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. Old episodes of I Can't Make This Up that you might have missed. They're up there. Take time to go over there and check them out and have fun watching them. Don't forget, laughter's always in style. And let them know, ma.